The clerk will report the title of the resolution. House Resolution 21, resolution calling on Vice President Michael R. Pence to convene and mobilize the principal officers of the executive departments of the cabinet to activate section four of the 25th amendment to declare President Donald J. Trump incapable of executing the duties of his office and to immediately exercise powers as acting president. It was an attempt to murder the Congress and our processes to elect our President of the United States. It is the political equivalent of shooting somebody on Fifth Avenue and getting away with it. I condemn this violence. Republicans have condemned this violence. President Trump has condemned this violence. I was elected in 2018, and my entire congressional career has been consumed by impeaching or removing President Trump. Mike Pence must do his duty, invoke the 25th, and if he won't, we will move with urgency to do ours and impeach Donald Trump again. I won't spend another second explaining why Donald Trump should have long ago been removed from office. Donald Trump showed us who he was from the very beginning. Too many people turned a blind eye. And last Wednesday, our country paid the price. The Democrats have reverted to the mean. They've gone back to their natural state, the party of impeachment, removal, and division. They're about to have unified control of the government. Maybe they'd use this time to preview an agenda for the American people. Never before has the president sought to overturn a fair and secure election, threatening state officials to manufacture fraudulent votes. Never before has the president incited mob violence to block con certification of his opponent's victory. Never before has the president refused to condemn and demand the cessation of an attack on our country. This is scary where this goes because this is more than about impeaching the president of the United States. This is about canceling the president and canceling all the people you guys disagree with. The cancel culture doesn't just go after conservatives and Republicans. It won't just stop there. It'll come for us all. The president's actions demonstrate his absolute inability to discharge the most basic and fundamental powers and duties of his office. Therefore, the president must be removed from office immediately. I heard the previous speaker say that we are uh, uh, objecting to the president because we don't like the way he executes the duties, executes his duties. No, we don't like it at all. Acts of sedition, incitement to insurrection, treasonous activity, and if you are associating yourself with that as the proper execution of the president's duties, you are associating yourself with sedition and treason. On this vote, the yeas are 223, the nays are 205. The resolution is adopted. Without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table.